Over the past few hours, we had a swarm of the earthquakes. There's something that is going to be a swarm, probably, I should say. A cluster is at the moment. And the entire peninsula, from one end to the end, that's the source angle volcanic system to the left and the Hengil volcanic system to the right. And they are having earthquakes. Earthquakes in this area, which is a plate boundary in Iceland, Reykjanes Peninsula, are where we will have eruptions. These are the uh, accommodation of the movements of the plates, creating these uh, earthquakes. And transform faults do that for us. And what we are seeing is the new earth crust is being formed due to these uh, uh, movements and the eruption of the magma between the uh, each system. And what we may see in the future, uh, maybe a few days ahead, is eruption of any of these uh, volcanic systems. Uh, sourcing is the most likely. The coming video is my prediction from three months ago. Watch this. Seventh eruption in the sourcing volcanic system happened as I predicted, 21st to 23rd, and it happened in 21st of the November, like this. And within a few days, we could see the evidence for the accumulation of the magma within the earth crust, uh, showing the land is rising, magma is accumulating, entering the reservoir. The pattern of each eruption is a slightly different from the previous ones. As you can see here, this gives us a clue about the shape and the location and the pathways of the magma for each eruption. They're not exactly the same. And this is what I think is happening. Each eruption creates its own pathway. Although they're very closely spaced, but they're not the same. If they were the same, we would have seen exactly the same pattern. We don't see that. They are different. The pathways especially are different. We see evidence, of course, during the erupt before the eruptions and during it in our boreholes in the Swartzengi. We see the gases on top of the solid parts of the magma. And now, based on the land uplift, we can actually predict the next eruption. We extrapolate uh, the curve, which is uh, starting now uh, from the 21st of the November. We can see that and extend it to December. And when we do that, we see that 96 days from the moment of the eruption up to now, we expect the next eruption. That will be 23rd of the February 2025. That is my prediction. And uh, this is based on the models that we have for the G from the GPS data. Something like this we expect in February. Of course, like many other things in science, you cannot be 100% sure. There is always a level of uncertainty. But in the past, I have been correct on most of my predictions. And this one may be one of those ones also. And it's quite possible actually to be one of these. We have seen this pattern before and it is just repeating itself. We remember that in this kind of systems which erupt consequently every month or every few years, this may last for a while. Ten years is the time we know for the Krefla fires. This may happen again and go for a while. And you can see actually the crack in the ground, the fissure as we call it, opening up and moving along the ground. And you can see this here, the passage of the magma opening the earth, splitting it, and then erupting as the fissure extends toward the direction. It's a pa butterfly pattern, as we call it. It extends toward the south and the north, in this case, near the town of the Grindavik. And it may go on for a while. We're expecting this to happen again, and I'm predicting it for the 23rd of the February 2025. Let's wait and see. This will not be a long wait. It's just 96 days from the day that the accumulation of the magma in the sourcing volcanic system started. And from that time we count and it's a countdown. 96 days. Wait and see.